Hey everybody, this is Matt from the Foundation Roundtable, and today I want to talk to you about my EDC bag, my everyday carry, my get home bag, my not a bug out bag, um, but it's my essential stuff. I might not use everything that's in this bag every day, all the time, but it's stuff that does make my life simple. It, may, it, it provides a little bit of comfort now and again, just knowing I have this or this or that if I might need it. First, you know what? Let me start with this bag. This is a Vertex Ready Pack version 2.0. I love this bag. I've been carrying this since, oh, maybe October of 2019. And now we're almost in May of 2020. This, this goes everywhere with me. If I leave the house, it jumps in the truck with me. I, I might not throw this on and carry it through the stores with me but it is always in the vehicle or it does follow me into work. Um, I'm going to start out first by showing you some of the stuff I have on the bag and then we'll move to the pockets and everything that's in them and what I have and why, okay? First, um, on this shoulder strap at the very bottom, I keep a trauma kit. And this is from my good buddy, Carrie Davis at Dark Angel Medical. This is a dart kit. Uh, I'm sorry, a dark kit. This is a direct action response kit. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to go through everything that's in this. You, I'll have a link uh, at the bottom here so you can, you know, order your own kit. You can also find training, um, some of the best traumatic medical training. Uh, I have spent a lot of time with them. Um, I've taken a few classes. Carrie has become a good friend of mine and a medical mentor over the last... I don't know, year or so, year and a half, uh, my mother, my aunt, and my oldest son have also all gone through his uh, beginner course. So there's uh, a trauma kit. Um, you know, like if you notice on this backpack, there is nothing about this that's like tactical, tactical. There's no molly. There's no, you know, giant hatch panel. At the very, very bottom, there's this strip of Velcro, like if you wanted to put a name tape. That's it, and it's barely visible. It's way down at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna move into the main compartment. Like you're going to be, you might be surprised by how little stuff I actually carry, but again, this is my everyday carry bag. It, this weighs like maybe 20 pounds at the most. Um, you talk to people about their, their, their bug out bag, and it's like, it's 60 pounds, it's 75 pounds, like, oh, um, I couldn't do that. I have right here in the top flap, there <clears throat> some horizontal pockets. The first thing I have is a Benchmade Griptilian Mini, semi-serrated, sheep's foot, uh, with the whole, I love this knife, I carried this for seven years until I replaced it with something else. This is just a task light. This is a Streamlight Junior LED, not extraordinarily bright. It runs on double A's. It just lives in here. It's a very, very backup to my backup. Um, there is a zippered pocket where I keep what I call a boo-boo kit um, or an ouch pouch. I've got tweezers. I've got a glasses repair kit. I've got Tylenol, Tums, you know, band-aids, blister band-aids, like blister covers, you know, um, just basic stuff like that. <clears throat> this little pouch is from uh, original SOE, so special operations equipment, or SOE gear, I don't, I can't remember what the website is anymore. I keep a packable hat. Nothing special, I mean, nothing like crazy. It's a nice hat, it's very comfortable, it's lightweight. This is from Hill People Gear, I really like this a lot. Um, this is a new one. Uh, my other one is, well, you know, it started out this color and then it turned like these weird colors of white and gray and <laughs> put the sweat and everything. So I didn't want to show you how disgusting I really am. This is a Magpul DACA pouch. This has all of my electrical stuff in it. So charging cords for my smartphone. Um, let's see an outlet splitter. So from one to three, I only had to use the, uh, that once or twice. I've got a 
battery bank or whatever you call it so I can charge my cell phone on the go. And then this thing I love. This is ultimately cool. This is a NOCO Boost Plus. I got this on Amazon for like 126 bucks. You can charge all kinds of stuff with it. Um, if you turn it on, you've got light. You've got different like levels, bright, medium, and low. You've got an SOS, or like a flasher emergency light. You've got off. Then, separate package. I keep this. This is what I actually have it for. You can jump your car with it. I have used this multiple times. I've used it at work. I've used it on my own vehicle. Um, I have two different ones. Like they come so you can service different engine sizes. I have a larger one uh, for a motorhome, a seven liter diesel, you know, all kinds of stuff. It'll chart, it'll jump my uh, skid steer, which I've used that more than once. Um, but it's, it's an awesome little thing. It is so lightweight, so lightweight. Um, this is, uh, like the, the days of having those giant, heavy, heavy battery charging packs, it's over with. I don't know if this is like Nick, uh, lithium ion or what, I have no idea, but it's super cool. Um, so that also lives in here and I keep a charging cord for that as well. Um, I keep a field notes book, just right in the rain, or if I end up in a class and I forget my note taking material, I've... I've got this, um, I use this all the time, just for various things, reminders, notes, uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, on the back here, this is all like small loop Velcro, and it's got a little like tie down for your keys where I use, I, this is my badge from work. So uh, because of the, the Corona, you know, I've not been at work, so I didn't want to misplace my badge. So there it lives. There's another one right here on the inside of this panel, which again, I didn't mention, but this is mini like loop Velcro as well. Um, you can put all kinds of stuff on there, obviously. Let's see, I'm gonna zip this up, move into the next pouch down, pocket down. Now on the inside of this, there are three loop or three rows. You can't see it really well, but there are three rows of Molly here. So you can, you know, mount stuff directly to this. Um, and then there, the Molly in here, from here to here, again, you can't see, is Velcro fronted. So if you just had stuff you want to slap on the front, you totally can. Um, but here I have, I believe this is a, sorry about that stupid mosquito. I believe this is a tactical tailor pouch and I've just got a Gerber multi-tool. Very nice, super cool one hand operation to open and close that. I keep a Cat7 tourniquet. Again, you can't see this because everything's black. Cat7 tourniquet, I believe this is a Filster uh, tourniquet mount. I love that thing. I've got multiple of these. Um, I originally bought them to run uh, SWAT T wides. Personally, I don't like them if I have to put a tourniquet on myself. I'm not saying they don't work, guys. Don't get up in a tiff. Um, I like a Cat7 if I have to put one on me. I'll use whatever is available um, if I needed one, but this is what I can actually apply to myself the easiest under stress. Uh, but the SWAT T wide is awesome if you're applying it to someone else. I also have a Therm Cell Vault. Um, CR123 batteries for flashlights, or I'm not gonna try and put this back in there right now, or whatever you use CR123 for. 123s for, sorry about that. Um, I only use flashlights, but um, anymore I've switched a lot of my lights. I was gonna pull one up and show it to you, but uh, rechargeable 18650s, just because, oh my gosh, those stupid batteries get to be really expensive. I still do have several of those lights that, that run CR123s. I just don't use them as often. Here is a little tool pouch, Maxpedition. This is like maybe 15 bucks, and I just keep some basic odds and ends in here. A fork and a camping spork. I hate using plastic utensils at work, any in the woods, anywhere. I hate it, so I'll, you know I don't use them. So I keep those. I wash them. This is a multi-tool. Okay, this is a gator socket. And this runs, let's see, one quarter inch to three quarters, or seven mil to nineteen mil. And what it is is a bunch of spring-loaded pins. 
So you can run all kinds of stuff in here. And then I just put a shank on the end so I can run it in a drill bit, you know, I'm sorry, in a drill chuck or whatever. All those, you know, obviously I don't have a drill in here, but I'll show you what I do have. This is a neat little tool. It's got a socket end, right, with a ring. Now, I can't develop, I can't get a bunch of torque with this, but it is a loop. So I could put, you know, a Sharpie marker through it, a pen, um, my fork if it wouldn't bend, uh, and get a little bit more leverage with this if I needed to. I used to run a T-handle that was ratcheting, but I just didn't use it enough. And frankly, for the small amount that I did use it, it wasn't worth the, the extra size or the weight. And this also just comes with its own little uh, Phillips head and uh, standard flat blade. This is called a screw pop, and this is from Fisher. Um, yeah, screwpoptools.com. So I think this is really cool. It was under 10 bucks, and I, you know, if you want something cool to throw in your pack, it's a, it's a nice little option. Check them out. Uh, I have some screw bits, some Torx bits on a little strip here so things don't run away from me. Package of razor blades. I don't know, there's four or five in there. A couple of zip ties um, at work. One of my favorite things to do is tease, tease a buddy or two of mine and zip tie the sleeves of their jackets closed. Um, yeah, we do, uh, like, we still do play uh, tricks and pranks on each other. It's fun. Um, just don't take it too seriously, guys. Okay, uh, small lighter, a mini Bic. Um, and notice it's not camouflage, it's a color that I can see. Um, and then a couple little, like literally, they're small ranger bands. They're just basically like um, sections of bicycle tube. What they do is, you know, you throw them over something that adds a little bit of grip. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I threw four of them in a row on my uh, Microtech Ultratech. And it just helps, you know, grip the inside of my pocket because this is a smooth body knife. Let's see, this is really cool. This is a, a little tin Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. I think my kids got this for me for Christmas and it was obviously full of gum, but I keep two um, like light duty trash bags and then a headlamp. Um, the strap is right here, but I put this in here because, well, one time I opened up my backpack and the light was on because the buttons were, you know, it was bouncing around, it got turned on. So this way it doesn't get turned on. Um, I mean, I always carry a pocket flashlight, but you know, whatever. It's nice to have an extra. This is uh, something my buddy gave me. I think you can actually pick these up at the gun shows if you go to them, but it is a military medical module. It's got like a flare. It's got a quick clot, like combat gauze. It's got, um, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff in it. You can look these up. I'm sure you can buy them online. All right, zip this up. And then like, this is like an admin pocket. Uh, again, Dark Angel Medical. I love these guys. Um, I definitely suggest that like, if you're thinking this way, if I need to have stuff so I can blah, 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 whatever, survive, prep, I don't know. Um, definitely check their stuff out. Uh, they, they have fantastic medical kits. None of their stuff is second rate and they have the best kit guaranteed. So if you use your stuff and you save a life, you let them know, these dark on mosquitoes are getting me. You let them know, you send them a letter, uh, send them back your kit they will replace what you used. They will vacuum seal everything after they inspect it and send it back to you free of charge. So that is their kit for life guarantee. I have probably six or eight of their kits uh, in varying sizes from you know, the dark to this uh, floating around my house and my vehicles. Oh, apparently I have another lighter. Again, it's bright. I don't smoke, I don't, well, I do smoke cigars, uh, but I typically wouldn't light a uh, cigar with, with something like that. Um, keep some cash on hand. I normally keep fives, tens, twenties, um, because I have been in the situation where I needed gas and either the card reader was broken at the gas station, the internet was down, my card, I've had this happen, my card was demagnetized once and that wouldn't work. Another time my card got stuck in the stupid bank ATM machine. So um, having cash on hand is important. I also keep like two to three dollars and quarters uh, in my vehicle because now all of the air compressors are going to a card reader, a dollar machine, 
or change. They're not free anymore, not most of them. So again, my, it wouldn't read my card. It was like 12 degrees. It would not take the money. The money, like the rollers were frozen and I had just enough quarters to make sure I got air in my tire, got me home. Um, I keep a lens cleaner because at work, I have to wear safety glasses. I keep a highlighter, pens, blue and black ink, and a pencil. If you've ever been outside and it was cold enough to freeze the ink in your pen and you couldn't write anymore, you will officially appreciate a pencil. And also for you guys who are like, oh, I'm gonna put one of those in my bug out bag with my pencil sharpener so I'll have tinder for my fires. Big brain. Uh, let's see, I got, I've got i got about five feet of Gorilla Tape on what looks to be, I don't know, it was probably like a Tim Hortons gift card. And then I've got a $25 gift, uh, Visa gift card. So emergencies. Let's see. On the side here, oh, shocker. I've got um, Germex, you know, hand sanitizer. I've got some gummy bears, fruit snacks, <laughs> uh, earplugs. Now, obviously, this is for, oops, this is for a bottle. This is for a bottle, right? Um, on the back, you can see this is nice and padded. It's got the Vertex logo. It's shaped, it's contoured to fit the, uh, the shape of your back. You know, your lumbar fills in nice, it's comfortable. Uh, it does have a one inch waist belt. I don't use it because it's just, you know, I don't, haven't found a time where I needed it. I, I'm just walking with this thing. I'm, I'm not running, I'm not on a bicycle. Um, I do think it's cool if you need it. I just haven't found a need for it yet. There are some strap, there's some strapping and loops on the, uh, the backpack. There's a sternum strap, I'll throw this on real quick. Um, I, f I haven't really needed any of this stuff up here, okay? I have a, a carabiner for my keys because I drive a fork truck on a dock. And if anything I lose out of my pockets, if it doesn't have a clip on it, it's, it's going somewhere. And uh, I don't wanna be at the end of my shift searching for keys, so they live right here on this. Uh, this is really adjustable. And it's got little Velcro strapping to uh, take the tails so you can roll everything up and Velcro everything in place so you don't have a bunch of crap hanging. This has just come undone because I undid it to show you that it's here. It's got a carry handle here and then you can also, it's got like a handle in the front. On this carry handle back here, I have a, uh, a proper gear, proper.com, proper clothing. I can't remember what the company's called, but it's just the, a reflector with the a light and I because this is daytime it's not doing its job really well you're not being you're not actually able to see this well but it lights up and blinks really nicely I've also put one of these larger size on my dog to let him out at night but it's just a PID marker if you ended up you know if you had to walk home if you had to walk away from your vehicle because you've got a flat tire ran out of gas whatever um, it just helps keep you visible it's also come in really handy in the shoot house class before on the back of uh, my plate carrier. But um, that's about it. Oh, totally forgot back pocket. So this bag, really, it's supposed to be so you can sling it down and grab this big handle here. See how big this is? You rip this down and open it up. You're supposed to have like your pistol, magazines, uh, your, you know, loft, you know, your law tactical folding uh, AR pistol, whatever. Not me. I have, uh, I think this is an old, cheap Coleman dry bag with a pair of smart wool dry extra pair of socks. I have another DACA pouch. And this just has, again, proper gear, but it is their packable raincoat. And I love this thing. I don't carry an umbrella. I hate them. I don't like having... I don't like walking like this. I don't like having my hand um, taken up with something that personally I just can't stand. Cool, it's metal and it's raining. Let's just hope I don't get struck by lightning. I don't know how often that happens. I don't care, but it's funny to me. But these things are like 50 bucks, maybe less. They don't come in any tactical colors that I'm aware of. This one is like LA Police blue. Um, I love it. It doesn't make you sweaty and gross. 
It's somehow breathable and it does a great job keeping the rain off. It's not like, I don't want to say bad name brands here, but like frog togs, they're very infirm. <laughs> um, they're easy to tear. I mean, if you have a pair of the pants on, you like squat down, you're going to rip the butt out or a knee. Maybe it's just that I'm a little bit fat. I got the wrong size. I don't know. But these things are awesome. I love, I love the, the shirt. And I actually have one of the pants as well. This is just a zip up hoodie and I love it. So these DACA pouches, I ordered like two of them and I thought, oh, that ought to be enough. They come in orange, yellow, black, tan, gray, OD green. Um, they've got different sizes. Some of them have like a clear window. One of them is big enough for like a document pouch. I, again, I thought I'd have two of them would be fine. I've probably got 10 of these things in different sizes floating around. I love them. I use them all the time. I've given a couple away to buddies. Um, they're really nice. They've got loops on them. Not all of them, but um, I don't think the smaller ones have any loops. And then the larger ones have uh, top and bottom. So you can secure these to, you know, in your kayak, a bike, motorcycle, bicycle, outside of a backpack, whatever. I don't know. I don't care. The possibilities are endless. But anyway, guys, I love this backpack. Um, it is great for a I need to get home bag. Uh, I just never saw a whole lot of need after I've applied some critical thought to a bug out bag. Um, I'm not saying that it's not a real thing, but where I live in Michigan, where am I bugging out to? I live about, if I had to walk the road that I drive, it's like 22 miles from home to work or work to home. I can't really imagine much of a scenario where I can't pick up the phone and call somebody to come get me. Um, but if I had to, I could walk home with this. Like, I don't know where I would be bugging out too. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, I think that if you do have the idea of I'm going to bug out, well, a, a, apply a lot of critical thought to that. And then even if it's just your get home bag, apply a lot of critical thought to the things that I have in here. You might find that you think that this battery jump box kit thing is stupid and you could just leave it in your car. Well, maybe you could. I like to make sure that it's here with me. Um, because vehicles where I work get broken into sometimes and that's an expensive, it's not expensive, but it's not an item I want stolen. You know, uh, I wanna be able to come out and jump my car or someone else's if need be. Um, so, you know, again, just some super basic stuff I have in here, some things that help make my life easier. Um, and this does change when, when the seasons change. You know, so this is spring, over the winter I had gloves, an extra hat, stuff that I, I knew really worked well for me, stuff that was comfortable. Um, I didn't have some like piece of crap hat that I never would have worn, you know, any other time. Uh, I had a, I have a hat that I wear. So I bought another one and threw it in this bag because that's what I would use. So um, I think as long as you're honest with yourself and you apply a little bit of critical thought to the things that you're buying, you'll see that uh, you won't waste a bunch of money. You won't waste a bunch of time. Uh, and it's important to make good decisions. So I'm able to say all this now because I made all of the, the, the bad decisions to start. I started with the, a giant 72 hour, um, 72 hour assault pack. I'll have, you know, from 511 tactical, um, cool bag. Now I just load it full of crap and go, you know, camping in the woods with the kids. Uh, I don't feel very tactical with it. I'm <laughs> certainly not moving fast with it, but it is cool. Make sure when you're buying things, you're doing it for the right reasons and not for our, our cool egos. Make sure this too. This is something I wish someone had told me. If you're buying things like this, make sure you're not going into debt doing it. Don't put any of the stuff on credit cards, guys or girls. Just save the money, put it aside and buy the stuff that you want. Don't buy crap. Don't buy something you no, would, would never use any other time. Buy the stuff that you would use any day of the week. Buy an extra one and put it in your bag uh, because you never know if you might need to use it. I say this all the time. Oftentimes, life and death decisions are made at the cash register. And I would hate to see you not buy a Cat 7 tourniquet from North American Rescue and instead you buy some 
unknown copy brand of a Cat7 on Amazon and you know it doesn't work we've had them actually break like first application in practice just to you know test them out um, and I would hate to have your husband wife or child die because you skimped out and wanted to save 10 or 12 bucks so buy stuff try it out have fun bags are cool bags are fun I'm a geardo I, I like bags I like gear I love all of it um you'll notice I don't have a a uh, pistol, a pistol magazine or anything in here because I take this to work and where I work, I'll be fired if someone ever saw or thought and checked my stuff. Uh, so say what you want about that. It's just the way I've, I've got to roll. Okay, guys. But hey, I appreciate you hanging out and watching this. Uh, I hope it was useful to you. I hope um, you, you take something from it. If you have suggestions about other videos you would like me to do, or if you want me to do a better video on a certain thing here, let me know. Give me suggestions, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. All right, you guys have a good one. Thank you very much.